Hey everyone, this is Angel from Epic Gaming with a brand new video for Death Stranding. If this is useful, don't forget to leave a like or check the playlist right here for more videos of the game. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use one of the most useful items in the game, the cargo carriers. Once you unlock the blueprint for this, you will be able to transport a lot of stuff from one place to another with a lot of ease. The first thing that you have to keep in mind is that these cargo carriers work with chiral crystals. If you don't have enough, the cargo carrier may suddenly stop and get you into trouble, so be sure to always have a decent amount of crystals before you craft it. For shorter trips, I recommend that you have around 50 crystals, and for longer trips, I recommend that you have between 100 and 200 in your inventory, depending how far you're going to. But remember that you can always be on the search for new crystals once you are in the field by just pressing R1 and using your scanner. In order to use it, you need to first drop the cargo carrier to the floor by using the cargo menu or simply pressing the circle on the wheel menu. Once the cargo carrier is on the floor, you can start to add items on top of it. And although it seems very fragile, you can really load a lot of items on top of it. There are two ways to do this. Via the cargo menu, or by holding items with your hand and dropping them on top of the carrier. The first one is the fastest way, so I don't recommend you to waste your time on the other one. Once everything is set, stand in front of the cargo carrier and press square to attach the carrier to you so you can now move freely and the carrier follows. The carrier won't move if you don't attach it to yourself. The carriers are actually very good on following no matter how tough the terrain looks like, so this is really useful if you are struggling to keep your balance with the weight, or if you are in BT territory and want to skip faster once you have been spotted. Once you arrive at your destination, you can either unload everything from the cargo carrier manually, or get near any terminal or vehicle and enter the cargo menu for that specific destination and unload it directly without putting it on your back, which comes pretty handy and speeds up the process. Finally, yes, you can ride your floating carrier if it's still empty by simply attaching it with the square button and then hopping on top of it by pressing the X button. There has to be a certain amount of inclination in the terrain so you can get moving, but you can try to get some momentum by pressing square to kick the ground. Be careful because this thing is very hard to control, so don't forget to press L2 or R2 if you're approaching a cliff because you and your cargo can still get hurt pretty bad by falling. And that's it for using your cargo carriers in that stranding. If you find another nice trick, be sure to share it in the comment section down below. But thank you for watching and keep enjoying the game.